Still with me, the finish line is in sight. At this point, you've completed the analysis, design and develop phase of the ADI process. You've implemented Bloom's taxonomy, the AGES model of learning and Mayer's multimedia principles. You're doing well, but what about the final two steps, implement and evaluate? Well, a lot of this happens outside of Colossian, but that doesn't mean I don't have some best practice to help you smash it. To start the implementation process, hit generate on your video. You can find the button in the top right region of the top bar. Once the generation process starts, it will take a little time to be ready for you to review and share it. You can find your generated videos by going back to the home screen, then selecting generated videos. You'll be able to see the generation progress of your video, and once it's done, you'll be notified. Once it's ready, you can watch the whole thing to check if it's working as you expect it to, download it or share it via a link or an embed link. And this is where the last part of the implement phase of Addy comes in, publishing the video to a specific channel for your viewers to access. So go ahead, hit pause on this video and smash that generate button. Once it's out there though, how do you assess if it's doing what it should? This is the evaluate phase, and a fantastic tool for this is the Learning Transfer Evaluation Model, or LTEM. This model helps you to figure out the learning impact of the video. It goes across eight tiers. At the lowest tier, we have the least impactful metrics, and at the highest, we see the largest business impact. Tier one, attendance. The student joins and takes part in a lesson. We see they showed up, but did they really learn? Tier two, activity. The student does tasks related to their studies. They're active, but did they really grasp the lesson? Tier three, learner perceptions. We ask the student questions to find out if they think the lessons are useful. This gives us an idea if the teaching method is making a difference. Tier four, knowledge. The student answers questions about basic facts. It's a beginning, but can they apply what they know? Tier five, decision-making competence. The student makes choices based on real life situations. They're starting to show they've taken in their lessons. Tier six, task competence. The student shows they can do real tasks and make decisions. This suggests your teaching method is working well. Tier seven, transfer. The student uses what they've learned in their actual job tasks and succeeds. In simple terms, we want to see if they apply their new knowledge in their daily tasks. Tier eight, effects of transfer. This looks at how learning affects the student. People around them, like family or co-workers, their company, their local area, the wider society and the environment. If you can show these effects, it proves whether the lessons you gave had a real impact or not. This model is comprehensive, and if you're serious about understanding the impact of your work, you need to find opportunities to measure up to the highest level possible. For this bootcamp, for instance, I'm able to measure up to tier eight, effects of transfer. This is because we expect to see higher retention and use of the product for users who have been through the bootcamp because it should be an experience that empowers our users and helps them to feel confident in creating new content. Once you've evaluated the success of your video, you should look to update it, taking on feedback from your viewers to ensure your training videos are as powerful as possible. And that's it. Now you know how to generate and share your video to support the implementation phase, as well as apply the learning transfer evaluation model to evaluate the success of your work. In the final video of this bootcamp, I'll recap everything we've covered, as well as discuss how you can go about getting accredited, and even how to earn some bonus free generation minutes. See you there.